Welcome back, everybody. My name is Grizzgoat, and this is my franchise mode Planet Zoo play playthrough. This weekend, we hit 200 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which is absolutely mind blowing to me. I didn't think in the first month I was going to get 200 subscribers. I thought I was going to be making videos for like one person, maybe. I didn't even think my videos were going to get views honestly. Um, so thank you all for subscribing and learning and giving me advice, uh, all of that. Thank you for that. Uh, keep commenting. This, what I'm doing right now, is actually inspired by a comment to do the one-way glass uh, for privacy for our aardvarks. So, the more advice you can give me, the better. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so thank you all. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We're just getting started, I feel like. Um, I have plans for more zoos. Uh, I want to make, I want to make like 50 zoos. I'm having so much fun with this zoo right now. And the amount that I've learned from you guys, from, you know, watching other people. Uh, I just have a lot of ideas. And I can't wait to show them to you guys and everything like that. So yeah, with that, we're gonna, I'm gonna shut up for a little bit and we're gonna replace the walls with concrete for our aardvarks to give them more privacy and make them less stressed. And then we will move on to our main build for the day. Okay, so our main build for today is going to be extending the African theme. Uh, so this area will kind of be Africa. And we're going to continue the same rock feature that we did with the aardvarks. We're going to continue that throughout this section. The animal we are putting in here today, I believe, is pronounced the Karakal. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm most likely wrong. Uh, it's a African cat. Uh, it's kind of a small one. It looks a little like a bobcat or a lynx or something like that. The amount of space we're working with today isn't going to be a ton. This green space that I'm working with right here is going to be divided into two. Um, so we'll have kind of three animals right in this section, uh, which I think will look really nice and kind of flesh out this area. Uh, right now, a lot of guests are using that main path by the pizza way, uh, pizza way, pizza place up there. Uh, so I kind of want to get more people going the back way around. Um, so we'll have a viewing window on this side, and then a viewing window in between the art park exhibit. I'm just marking off all of the barriers, making sure that we have enough room for our animal. And then I, I kind of wanted to do a theme. Um, originally, we were thinking about doing a, a caracal and hyena 
kind of joint enclosure with this pathway in between and the zookeepers could walk in between using that. But it turns out that our exhibit on the right side of the screen right now does not have enough area for two hyenas, uh, which is their social group size. So that was kind of a bummer, but I think I'm not going to spoil it yet, but I think the animal that we are going to put in that place is going to be very cool. So stay tuned for that build. That build should be coming up and it will be streamed live on my Twitch channel, which I will link in the description, uh, but it's Grizzgoat on there as well. So go show some love over there and follow. Do it right now so you don't miss out because my streaming schedule is not reliable. So sorry if you love Twitch. YouTube is my main platform for right now, my main focus. But it's a good opportunity to come hang out. We do go through a little bit of like the management of our zoo, which a lot of my viewers pointed out is horrible. So if you love the management aspect and you love bossing someone around, that's a perfect time for you to come join my Twitch stream. Yeah, so you'll see there I had to get rid of the pathway just to add some more space for our African cat. Which I think works out. Uh, I don't know... I don't know if they're going to end up jumping over our barriers. I don't think they do that. But we'll see. Um, we might have to fix that. You know, if it gets broken at one point, we might have uh, our Caracal, Caracal uh, you know, munching on whatever's next door. So, yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I don't think it will, but it might. So now I'm checking out some of our sight lines. I like to go into about the visitor's height just to make sure that nothing's blocking anything or looks out of place. Um, I think that's important for everybody. Everybody should do that in their builds. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we love our greenhouse on this channel, so uh, making sure that that's visible from most points of any one exhibit is is important for us uh, now we're just adding in that one-way glass and we're gonna raise the entire exhibit not raise the exhibit but raise the height of it um, they needed like roughly nine feet so we're gonna raise that up Originally I was building both of these exhibits kind of at the same time, but that was taking too long and I really wanted to get at least one done. And now I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite clips from our Twitch stream. Uh, trigger warning if you don't like 
sad. Oh my goodness, look at that guy in there. Is his tongue hanging out? Oh my god, he's dead. He's <laughs> dead. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I thought he was, I thought he was tired. So yeah, that's just a glimpse of what happens when we stream on Twitch. And now we have our we have our Krakow in there. I think I've pronounced that word differently every time I've said it. Uh, I might just start saying African cat. Uh, I'm not sure what the pronunciation should be or is supposed to be. But yeah, we're just gonna go go around using the paintbrush. Um, and now we're gonna make a little path, kind of estimate where our cats are gonna be walking around. Um, the staff member I could see walking through the door and going kind of in that pathway as well, so kind of helps visualize the layout of what we want to do um, so with that curve kind of gave me the idea for their shelter uh, which we're going to work on now we're going to use that same 3d printed 3d printed wall I, kinda, I like the texture of it and I like that you can color it it makes it a very versatile wall for pretty much any part of your zoo. And now to blend it kind of into the scenery, just like we did with the aardvarks, I'm going to put a rock top on it. going to add some climbing to the exhibit. Uh, it's kind of inspired by the walls that people put in their house uh, for their house cats. I think it's just kind of fun to kind of add something interesting to the side of the wall, really. I haven't observed them climb on it yet, but they should be able to. Hopefully they'll like climb up and hang out on one of the platforms or something. And now we're going to do the same for their bedding. We're going to have a raised one with some climbing posts and a ramp up to it. And then just in case they can't access that, we'll just put some bedding down underneath it. some enrichment items. These are like scratching trees or something. And a scratching post down there. Now they need a quite quite a bit of climbing area too, so I'm going to be adding some posts and a uh, just kind of like climbing structure kind of towards this big stretch of glass towards the bottom of the screen since that's a main viewing area and kind of where we want that the cats to hang out for the most part checking the viewing angles for everything and it seemed pretty good and I'm going to extend their shelter out just a little bit. 
I think part of the aardvark's stress was related to the fact that people could see straight into their shelter when they're sleeping. So this kind of like L-shaped building we have going on here I think will help a lot. Which, it's one-way glass, so that shouldn't be an issue anyway. But we're going to use these reeds to cover up the concrete and plop some down in the back just to kind of make that far back, like, really private for them. Adding more reeds to cover up the concrete walls. Now I noticed that these branches were actually climbable items, so uh, I added some of them uh, and then kind of made a fake tree trunk out of it, uh, which I think looks really nice um, and fits into the exhibit really well. Just gonna add some, just a little overhang area for them to hang out in. Um, I feel that area looks exactly like something you'd see in a zoo, um, where the cat is just kind of hanging out, like at a weird vantage point, uh, right by the glass, but you still can't really see it because it's around, like hiding behind a rock wall. I've seen that happen a lot at zoos. Um, now we're just kind of making that rock hold that glass a little better with these beefy rock pillars. And we're going to extend that overhang out a little bit more. some education boards which we did on Steam get the achievement for having a high rated education system at our zoo so uh, bravo to us And if you're looking to get this game, um, I'll have an affiliate link down in the description to a website that I use for purchasing my games. Um, super cheap. It's like a Steam sale all of the time. Uh, it's where I bought all the expansion packs for this, and I believe you can get the new one there as well. The new one comes out soon. It might even be today. So, uh, yeah, check that out. now we're coming to an end I think I lost a little bit of footage but I will show you the final result right now all right so when you enter you will see the exhibit on the right from the aardvarks uh, I think it turned out really nice um, you can see one just hanging out by the glass right there uh, just kind of minding its own business. I ended up liking these things a lot more than I thought I was going to. In the actual in-game footage, you can hear their ears flickering when they're waving around. Uh, and it's really, really interesting. Here's one scratching on one of the trees. But yeah, I thought I was going to have another uh, Cayman conundrum where they're just too small for my liking, but I think they're the perfect size. I think the uh, the space works really well with kind of this open area and their enrichment up front. Uh, you can really see them from any part of the exhibit, which uh, is really nice. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, I can't believe we're at 200 subscribers already. Blows my mind. 
So yeah, have a great rest of your day. And yeah, I will see you later.